this device? This is the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Guess what? It just got Android 10 on a custom ROM. This is the KCUF ROM and you can reverse it if you want to. This is the first Android 10 ROM I am trying on this device and I gotta say this is amazing. So the first thing we are going to talk about is how to install this ROM. Well, if you already are on a Pi firmware and if you have Pi firmware supported to recovery and if you don't know what I'm talking about at all, you can watch this video from the card. Do follow that video to flash Pi firmware and Pi firmware supported TWRP. So once you have done that, you can switch to this ROM pretty simply. Just wipe cache, Dalvik system data and vendor. Then just flash this ROM zip file and also make sure you flash the Magisk zip file and all the things will be linked in the description box below. And this ROM does not need GApp separately. This ROM does include GApps like in the zip file itself so you don't need to flash gapp separately so you just go to install flash the rom file the magic file and reboot might like boot loop for once or twice afterwards it will boot up fine and you can set up the rom pretty easily and one more thing do flash that magic file if you don't flash that this rom will get stuck on boot loop like forever so make sure you're flashing magic otherwise it won't boot now let's talk about some more things well if you go into the settings over here and about section you're gonna see this is the gesture stuff i am using over here but first let me show you the about section here in the android version section again as you can see this is android version 10 and if i go in here and tap on this as you can see android 10 the security patch is latest september 5th 2019 and the google play system update it says and like 10 then we have the baseband version the stock kernel version is perf kernel i think over here and you can see the build number and stuff from here and let me go back now how i'm using these gestures you may ask well for that you have to go to system then gestures then here we have the system navigation and in here you will find this gesture stuff you will get this gesture navigation which i'm using right now of android pi i'll explain it a little bit later here you do get the two buttons and three buttons of older android version so that's great this is the pi one and this is the nougat kind of thing i think now if you go into this settings you can like have the sensitivity control of these gestures i have a default let me go back and we uh, we have the jump to camera and prevent ringing option in the gestures and of course there is no system update this is still a testing like beta rom now one bummer we have over here like if you are willing to flash this rom let me tell you whenever you are going back to any pi firmware you may face some problems and you will need a persist image file so make sure you flash that persist image file and after that you can flash any kind of pi based custom rom but right now if you are going back to a like normal pi custom rom it will have problems if you don't flash that persist image so do keep that in mind now this is how the settings panel looks like you can see the icons let me show you the stock like launcher over here this is the like pixel launcher let me show you the settings here is how it looks like the settings pretty simplistic pixel launcher version 10 i think and over here to the left we have the google now cards you can't swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel and there are no double tap to sleep and stuff and over here the tap to hold functionality and stuff is there as you can see now the app open up animations as you can see looks really good let me open it again and going home is pretty simple you just swipe up and going back is pretty simple again you just like swipe from the sides as you can see it's pretty simple like new UI. so you can just go back from the sides and if you want to have the like recent panel let me show you you just pull it up like this and it appears like this so as you can see this is how it works and the rom already feels like pretty smooth no issues whatsoever and you can swipe up to remove one app from memory and talking about vaulty let me show you As you can see, my Geo Vaulty does work fine over here, no issues whatsoever with the Vaulty calling. And one thing that you will notice that if you are like typing somewhere some text, you will find this like keyboard button over here. You can just click this back button if you don't want the keyboard anymore once you are done typing or something, or you can just go back like this. So that is really great. And if you are like rotating the phone, you will have this rotation option. If you're not using the normal nav gestures, you will find it over here. You can just tap it to rotate the screen once as you can see. And one more thing, if you go home like this, you can just swipe up from the sides to get the Google Assistant over here. And let me quickly show you the lock screen over here. This is how the lock screen looks like. And on the lock screen, you will see if the screen is locked. 
it will show this icon over here and in the lock screen again you can like have the google assistant as you can see what's the weather like currently in Bapara, it's 29 degrees celsius with haze the forecast tonight is 28 and partly cloudy due to the current humidity it feels like it's 36. so there you have it you can access your google assistant from the lock screen itself here let me go back and the fingerprint scanner yes the fingerprint scanner does work as you can see and i don't have a good x fingerprint scanner but it is working fine this is the fpc or something so if you have a good x fingerprint scanner if it may or may not work but for me it's working fine now let me show you the stock camera here well we have a snapdragon camera as stock camera and you can also install google cameras too as you can see i did install google camera over here and you can also switch to the front camera and stuff and as you can see it's working fine the front camera is working fine and even you can switch to the back camera and click a picture it should work fine but the processing takes some time i think a little bit more but i don't know so google camera does work super fine i haven't tried anx camera though now the sound is fine the sound is working i did test it over here and here is the here is how the power menu looks like as you can see it also has an emergency option and then if you want the volume panel this is how it looks like it's kind of same as pi but once you tap this settings you will find the volume panel like this as you can see you can control the ring and then call then alarm volume over here you can go to the like sound settings from here and if you go advanced in the sound settings you can disable the touch vibration and stuff if you want to and even hotspot i tried over here hotspot does work wi-fi does work and even mobile data works and with the hotspot you can have the hotspot and wi-fi connected at the same time so that is a really cool thing and yes it does support in miui and over here dark theme is there if you are really into some dark ui yes the dark theme option is there screen timeout is there then we have the display size changing option let me go back then we have the lock screen display option we can have the lock screen like privacy controls over here we have the double tap to wake i did not test it let me test it quickly yes the double tap to wake as you just saw does work and did you notice that animation of the lock screen let me show you again if you are like just look at this lock icon once i tap the film scanner pretty dope and night light let me test it quickly So looks like light light is not working over here but I'm fine with it it's a beta Android 10 ROM here we of course have the digital well-being too if you are into it now let me go back inside security this is how it looks like let me show you the battery settings I'm not sure about the battery life but it should be pretty decent here is how it looks like the battery settings you can have the battery percentage enabled from here and what else you can see the full usage from here as you can see and let me show you by opening some of the apps and how is the app open up speeds and the animations over here now let's open all the apps from memory just look at the animations The animations looks pretty much seamless and pretty dope i would say no complaints regarding the android q animations android 10 is lit and all the app stays in memory as you can see even on this device which is a 4gb ram variant by the way and the whole ui is pretty smooth already and i can recommend you using this rom pretty much i would say and you can put the phone into silent and vibrate of course from here as you can see so what do i think about this kcuf rom well yeah if you are into custom roms you can definitely flash this rom and make sure you have pi firmware and pi supported developer recovery and that's how i think about this rom guys but do keep one thing in mind that if you are like trying to go back to a older custom rom on like based on pi or like pi firmware and android pi version you may face some problems and you have to flash a persist image file to go back to older custom roms if you are trying this rom so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now